you know, this was a discussion uh, the other commissioners have as well. Uh, keep in mind, we, uh, the city, have furloughed over 600 workers because when people aren't working, then there's no income tax for the city even. So everybody is contracting in a way um, that they have never anticipated before. And as much as we would like to be able to give relief uh, from our very small budget, we're not able to do that. What we have been doing is constantly advocating, both for small business um, owners, uh, which is one of the reasons why I was uh, glad to be on the virtual town hall today, and then also for people that are seeking unemployment and getting unemployment. This is going to be a crisis, and is a crisis, uh, both health-wise and economically, quite frankly, that we have never seen before in this country, right? So, you know, people can talk about the pandemic of the 1918 flu. We didn't know enough in 1918 to do social distancing. So, you know, it's way, way different today. And so I think folks, and this is painful, because especially if you're talking about the economic uh, matters, and it's painful for me as mayor that, you know, we spend all of our time thinking of how we can create jobs and give economic sustainability, and we are ripping that away right now in order for keeping people safe and saving lives. And that is a very painful process we're all going through. Uh, we have to do our best to get through that, and as the governor says, once we uh, do the health part, we'll do the, eco the ec economy part. And so, you know, we're having constant conversation with our partners in state and federal government on what that looks like. It's just very difficult right now to model because we have to get through this health epidemic. Um, I will say, too, I've been just amazed by the generosity of the local businesses in Dayton. Uh, there were stories today, um, and this was in the state, of uh, small businesses that were restaurants that were feeding their um, employees because, quite frankly, they're still pending on unemployment. And so you see that that's happening all across the community. We encourage particularly those that are having issues with unemployment to call 211 right now. We know there's going to be a few weeks here that this is just going to be such a challenge. And so those are the resources that we're using for, for folks right now is the 211 site. Okay, One Adam? follow-up. Yeah. What's your follow-up? Uh, one quick, one quick follow-up. Sure. Here. Sorry, there's a bit of a delay. Um, we hear from these businesses that the demand is not going away. Coronavirus is not going to remove the demand for a restaurant or a non-essential business through this process. But what are you hearing from some of the business owners about the difficulties of stopping and starting back up or weathering this storm, however long it may be? Well, I th the question was the demand's not going away post-corona, and I hope they're right, particularly for restaurants and bars. But I. I think we have to be honest with ourselves that we're gonna, our behavior is going to change in ways we don't know yet after this virus. And I'll give one example that I think, you know, no one said this, but I think this is true. Uh, you know, retail, for example, was already being disrupted. The way people were purchasing items, they were not going to the stores. And we saw that with L Brands closing and all these other businesses closing, unless it was like a really local and unique place. Uh, now everyone is buying even more online based on the social distancing. So I think retail will be very different after this pandemic. You know, I don't know what will happen on restaurants and bars, but I am very concerned because these are places that do work month to month. And they're not, they're not big businesses like Walmart or Procter & Gamble, but they are the lifeblood of our community. And so our job as local elected officials is to advocate, to share their stories, and to fight like hell for them once we're through this health epidemic.